can't wait to try out this new game. I'm gonna create a character that looks like me. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, what's up? Why aren't you out yet? I hope you didn't forget about the meeting. Oh, of course not. I noted it down on my phone. I was concerned you were stuck in front of the mirror, admiring your new tattoo. Yeah, my bicep's still hurting. That's impossible considering you don't have any. Oh, whoa. Flexing your paintbrush arm, aren't you? Yep, the physical part of painting is the most demanding. Which tattoo did you get? I went with the traditional Baltic design. Show me, show me, show me! <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, well, you designed it. And I was sure it would look perfect on you. Oh, someone's at the door. I gotta go. Oh, before you go, my printer was dead, so I sent you the flyers. Flyers? Yeah, I made a few designs for Alfred. Couldn't choose which one was the best. And you want my photographer's expertise to pick the right colors? Exactly. Glad we're on the same page. Okay, really need to go. See you at the Bean. Please hurry up. Alfred's gonna be here soon. Don't forget the flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Hello? A letter for you, miss. Thank you. Have a nice day. Dear Miss Melda, writing to inform you, sorry for your loss. Huh? The death of your grandfather, Rokas Kovas. Oh. Uh, according to the will of the deceased, you've inherited the house and the belongings in it? Huh. Address in Lithuania. Please arrive before the mentioned date. If you fail to sign the certificate, the house will be sold at an auction? That's just two weeks away. <sighs> wow. Okay, this is too much. I need to go meet Dana. I'll deal with this later. It's the letter from a law firm informing me of Grandfather's last will. It says his house belongs to me now. I have to admit, it's more of a decoration. It's not old, it's vintage. One and only way to get around Chicago. I mean, the only one that I can afford. King's Pizza. Cheap and tasty. A brilliant tool for capturing moments in time. Any device containing most of my life.
Chicago. Old and loud, but the print quality is crisp. Do we believe the truth when we see it? Dana keeps saying I look just like that when I take pictures. Hmm, no matter how many clothes there are, I wish there were more. Just look at all of these amazing ideas being thrown away. A bit laggy, but it does the work. This one looks fine. I'll print it. I think Dana would say this design is too girlish. This one looks fine. I'll print it. Forest green design. Looks eco-friendly. starters, my grandfather died. Oh, f crap. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm not bothered. I barely knew him. However, I did inherit his house. Oh, congrats, I guess. But the house is in Lithuania. Who's aware now? <laughs> 
Lithuania? Europe? My parents are from there? I know, I'm just messing with you. I know that annoys me. I wouldn't do it otherwise. <sighs> so, yeah, I own a house now. However, if I don't go there to claim it, in two weeks it's going to be sold at an auction. So, it seems you're talking to a future former owner of a house. Wait, you mean you're not going there? I'm broke. That's an even bigger reason to go. You sell the house and you're a rich woman. With what money would I travel? I'll figure it out. In two weeks? Hmm. Listen, I know it's going to be a pain talking to him, but if Alfred agrees to finance my exhibition, then perhaps I could lend you a part of my advance for the plane ticket. Then once you've sold the house, you give it back. Does that sound okay? Why is it going to be a pain talking to him? He's very particular about everything and kind of weird. Trust me, it's not going to be easy. Okay, what do I have to do? Just check that everything's ready for him. Make him feel comfortable and make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, and Melda, you know what they say. Don't be proactive, be reactive. Do they say that? I just said that. <laughs> Fine. Let's do it. Ugh, the painting got blown off. to hold it in place. If I didn't know better, I think she was painting from a still image. Dana sure went all out on this. Hmm. I wish I looked like that in photos. Dana's backpack. Wow. Her, it looks surprisingly organized. Future world famous artist right there. What's up? One painting keeps getting blown off by the wind. Oh, this can't happen when Alfred is here. This is gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be fine, it's just one painting. You have no idea, Melta. He's a stickler for perfection. I prepared everything. Business cards, mood boards, venue options, selling points, flip charts, chewing gum. Oh, uh, chewing gum? For my breath. Right. I'm a painter. I can't handle this business crap. Okay, okay, I'm with you. We'll manage. I'll make sure everything's perfect. May I have some of that gum? Sure. Thanks. Talk to you later. Yeah. Gate, better known as the Bean. The only birds that actually enjoy city life. Mm -mm. I really don't want to say anything about life and lemons. When she ain't selling cookies, she's selling lemonade. Huh, being a Girl Scout really prepares girls for a retail job. Hi, hello miss. Could I interest you in some of my special lemonade? What's so special about it? It's the perfect combination of sweet and sour. The most refreshing drink you've ever tasted. What's your lemonade made of? It's made from water, ice, sugar, and a particular type of lemon. Ooh, what kind of lemons? Have you heard of Ponderosa lemons? Nope. They're big and juicy lemons that are most well known for their extreme sourness. How sour can those lemons get? They are so sour. Make your mouth shrink. All right. 
if you say so. About those lemons. Yes? Actually, never mind. Pour me a glass of your lemonade, please. Great, that'll be one dollar. Do you take card? No. Okay, all right then. I need to get some cash first. Yes? Can I borrow some coins? Sure, thanks. Talk to you later. Yep. check if I have some cash on me. You be having my special refreshing lemonade? Yes, please. And here's your drink. Have a nice day, miss. Refreshing drink. Perfect for quenching thirst. I got you the flyers. Awesome, thanks. Hold on to them for now. We'll give them to Alfred if he asks. It won't stick. I could try chewing it first. Oh, uh oh, I can't feel my tongue. for some of my paintings. I see. Well, she looks better in the paintings. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> so, um, uh, shall we talk about the exhibition financing possibility? Uh, I'm a bit parched from all the speed walking. Hey, Blondie, uh, fetch me something refreshing, will ya? And what's with that trumpet noise? I can hardly hear myself think. Do something about it. Yes, sir. Chewing gum effect is gone. <laughs> I can feel my tongue again. What about this one? Maybe. A street musician. Pretty common in such a touristy spot. Oh, work with that. Cool. Huh. There's mostly bills of fives, tens, and twenties. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, nothing. Now this one's got something. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir? Hey there, Chicklet. What about this one? Chicklet? Yeah, a young, pretty lady like yourself. How's it going? Good work with On a day like this, all that matters is the flow of music. And this? Could you stop playing for like 20 minutes or so? Stop playing? Now why would I do that? Now this one's got something. 
Mm-hmm. Me and my friend are trying to suck up to this businessman to get a good deal. What about the- He doesn't like that you're playing here. Girl, you got to fight the power. Never do what someone else says if you don't believe in it. Well, we could work with that. Uh, forget I asked. And this? Why do you take the coins out of the case? If people only see the bigger notes in the case, they don't want to look stingy and tend to tip more. Regardless, I do appreciate any size tip. Now, this one's got something. Mm hmm. Never mind. What about this one? Me. could work with that. Hmm? Can I borrow some coins? More? Yeah, thanks. Talk to you later. Yep. Cool. Still waiting for that drink, Blondie. And this? Eh, uh, not sure. Perfectly balanced lemonade. Hmm, this might be an investment opportunity. Now, this one's got something. Mm hmm. What about this one? Maybe. Well, we could work with that. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, nothing. And this? Uh, not sure. Now this one's got something. Mm -hmm. Hi, hey, you're back. Maybe. Those lemons. Yes? Well, we could work with that. Can I buy that pure lemon juice instead of lemonade? Why would you want something like that? And this? Eh, uh, not sure. You know, I actually like the sour taste very much. No way! No one sane would enjoy pure lemon juice. Just let me try, I'll prove it. Alright, I'll pour you a little. And if you don't make a face, I'll sell you a glass. Great. Here you go. What about this one? Maybe. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy this. Well, we could work with that. Cool. And this? Oh. Uh oh. I can't throw my tongue. I didn't. I didn't even flinch. Well, no way. You have no taste buds. Maybe that's why I like it. Okay, miss. You proved your point. Ooh, the chewing gum effect is gone. I can feel my tongue again. Hi! Hey, you're back! Well, we could work with that. About those lemons. Yes? Can I buy that pure lemon juice instead of lemonade? Well, alright. A deal is a deal. It'll cost you the same as a glass of lemonade. Let me check if I have some cash on me. Now this one's got something. Mm -hmm. Yes? Can I borrow some coins? Again? Really? I know. This one. Maybe. Well, we could work with that. You'd be having my special refreshing lemonade? 
And no, I'd like to have pure lemon juice. It'll cost you the same as a glass of lemonade. Sure. Now this one's got something. Here's the super extreme sour juice you wanted. Enjoy. What about this one? The sour drink that makes your mouth shrink. Well, we could work with that. Cool. And this? Hmm? Can I borrow some coins? This one's got something. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Maybe. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, nothing. We could work with that. Cool. And this? Uh, not sure. Now this one's got something. Mm -hmm. Ah, finally I'm feeling grounded. Let's talk details. What's your selling point, Dana? Where does your inspiration come from? Well, I like capturing moments of real life. Even the most mundane places and people always have something that catches our attention. I like to call it inspiration from the routine. Some might call it a lack of imagination. Uh... Perhaps it depends on personal taste. There's a niche for everyone. I agree. If I like it, I like it. And I like it. One thing, however, is you don't want to get stale. The style has potential, but the substance will box you in. Experiment a bit. Pink cosmic vibes, you know? Uh... Uh-huh. Did you bring any, uh, promotional material? Milda, do you have the flyers? Of course. Okay, let's see it. What about this one? There you go. Wow, do you want to hurt my eyes? Horrible. I hate it. I, I can't connect with it at all. Got anything better? Maybe. There you go. Ah, uh, yes. I see it working. The design, the colors, the model, the clothes. I'm feeling it, Dana. There's one last thing, though. Yeah? You need some kind of a mascot. Mascot? Yes, yeah, something that would liven up the exhibition, like like a symbol, a themed object that would excite people. A live promoter, perhaps. What about Milda? Me? Yeah, why not? You're in a third of my paintings anyway. I'm feeling her in your paintings, Dana, but what I see here does not impress me. <sighs> if only she looked better. Could I improve somehow? Of course. You could start by changing your clothes, diet, lifestyle, hair. A actually, keep the hair. I like it that way. <sighs> okay, I wish I hadn't asked. What's up? Talk to you later. Yep. Well, we could work with that. Bye. Cool. And this? Oh, this one looks fine. I'll print it.
what about this one? Am I suitable as a mascot now? Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. All the right parts in all the right places. Listen, Dana, I like the art and the prep you did for all this. I'll send you the advance and we'll talk more next week. Really? Awesome. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to work with you. All right. Good talk. We'll keep in touch. Stay cool, Blondie. Yeah, I'll try. Oh my god, you are such a squishy wuss with him! <laughs> yeah, well, it worked, Blondie. Don't you dare, Dana. Just kidding. I'm really surprised you managed to keep your cool there. Thanks, Melda. Ah, <sighs> you know, things you do for love. Aw, you said you love me. But who wouldn't love such a sweet, sweet widow artist like you? <laughs> You're so cringe, dude. Hey, you started it. I just have to pack up my stuff. Let's meet up at your place to celebrate and discuss your thing, okay? Sure. See you later. You pumped? Ready to get that plane ticket? Uh, I guess, but there's still lots to think about. Like what? What if I need help over there? Did you ask your mom? She might have connections there. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? Mom wouldn't want to know. I don't get it. Dana, when Dad left for Lithuania, the last thing we got was a letter saying he's done with us. My mom's got a new life now. Yeah, I see your point. But it's kind of a big thing. I still think you should call her. <sighs> yeah, I'll think about it. Good. What else is bothering you? Where would I stay? Hmm. You've got a few friends in Lithuania. Eh, mostly acquaintances. What about the guy who's crazy about languages? You mean yours? Yeah, him. I don't know if it's okay to just barge in on him like that. You won't know if you don't ask. Huh. I'll text him. Anything else you're concerned about? I've got to decide what to pack. Just make a list on your phone and pick the things you need. But I need everything. Make compromises, babe. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anything else? That's it. I'll start getting ready. Good. You need to get a ticket and then I'll help you pack. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I should check my computer. Oh, finally! I found something that I can actually afford. I made the list, Dana. H how do I use that app to, like, merge the notes? Are you ancient or something? Select one note, then select the one you want to combine it with. Done. Oh, okay. Thanks. I should add the item that I want to pack to the list. Great, I've got all the essentials down. It'll be easy to pack. There, all done.
Hello. Hey, Mom. Yes, Milda. I'm a bit flooded with work. Did you need something? Yeah, I kind of have something important to tell you. What is it? Are you pregnant? What? No. I, I got a letter from a law firm today. Oh? Are you in trouble? No, I'm not. The letter is from Lithuania. What? Grandpa Rockus died. Okay. I'll get to the point then. He left me his house. And what about it? I'm thinking of going there to get it. To Lithuania? Well, yeah, I have to sign the papers and everything. I don't think you should go. And why not? Do you even have enough money to go there? I've got enough, don't worry. You're pretty determined to go, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you're a grown woman, do as you see fit. I have to run to a meeting. Good luck on your trip. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. So, how did the mom talk go? I don't know. Okay, I guess. Well, at least there wasn't a train wreck. Yep. All right, Yoris Den. You gonna crash at his place? Yes. Awesome. What? Mm, nothing. Everything's packed. Wow, you actually managed to fit everything. <laughs> yeah, I had to make some soul-crushing decisions. You're set? Oh yeah. Jill time? Definitely. We need to celebrate my career boost properly. And my career jump as your representative. Of course. What would I do without my mascot? I expect you to keep in touch once you're in Lithuania. I want to know everything. I will live stream my every step there. Deal. Deal. And now it's time for songs and celebration. Here it is. Huh, the house looks smaller than I remember. A metal box for your mail. Wow, I should work in advertising. Grandpa's library ID and a blank piece of paper. Well, it's not the mail I usually receive. Strange. That door is unlocked. There seems to be no electricity. magic box that controls electricity in the house. It's locked. What a beautiful red apple. Ah, an age-old temptation. Oh, this garden is a mess. Ooh, and those plants are poisonous. I better not get close to them.
It's a patch of land for growing veggies, also known as the place where small objects are lost. Ooh, it smells. An old outhouse. How is it still standing? Eh, it's okay. I can hold it in. It's a window to the bedroom. Wow, I can't imagine how old those vines are. Looks like a blank page. Grandpa's house keys. It's unlocked now. That's it. The electricity should be on now. What the hell was that? It sounded like someone broke a window. Something is blocking the door from the other side. It used to be a window. This wasn't broken a minute ago. Gotta be careful not to cut myself. Someone is talking. Can you hear me? Hello? Who is this? What? Who is this? My name is Milda Kovas. Miss Milda? <laughs> so nice to hear your voice. Sorry for the mess, but I needed to find something that belongs to me. What were you searching for? Don't act stupid, Miss Milda. You want to convince me you came all the way from the USA to this rotten house without any idea why. You'd better do what I say if you wish to return back home safely. I'll send over my associate. It would be good for your health not to upset him. So just hand over the documents to him and we'll be done. But I don't have any documents. Listen, either you drop this act, or your day suddenly becomes much, much worse, Miss Milda. Hand over what I'm asking for, and we will be done with it. And remember, I don't take no for an answer. Do you take screw you for an answer? Cause it's all you're getting. 
Also, who the hell uses a radio these days? Have you ever heard of a cell phone? I'm not giving anything to that bum. But whatever he was searching for must be important. I need to find it fast. Grandpa's trusty toolbox. Old, broken shears and a nut. Nothing really interesting otherwise. Looks like some blank pages. Hey, more junk. Big old books about natural remedies. Whenever I bruised myself, Grandpa always told me to put a plantain on the wound instead of giving me a band-aid. It's an oil lamp. Huh, it's nailed to the table. I guess you can call it a table lamp now. This dowry chest belonged to my grandmother. It sure is well preserved. It's locked and too heavy to carry. None of the keys fit. An old sweatshirt. <laughs> Unless there's an ugliest sweatshirt competition in town, I won't be wearing this. It's an old metal detector. This metal detector doesn't seem to work. It's a metal detector, but it doesn't seem to work. Slicing the mattress. Huh. They were really serious about finding what they were looking for. Huh. There's a blank page under the bed. The apple orchard, when it was still looked after. Grandpa always had to lift me up because I couldn't reach the apples. Did they think there was something hidden behind the curtains? A bottle of invisible ink. I remember Grandpa used to hide candies and I had to find them using his secret messages. Huh. Yeah, I think that's actually how I learned to read. A piece of string. Well, that might come in handy. A spider web. Huh. Mom never lets me kill a spider. She says it brings good luck. And nothing. The bulb must have burned out. Invisible ink, made from strong alcohol and concentrated lemon juice. After writing with it, you need to heat the paper to see what was written. I remember I once shut a cat in there. Yeah, it didn't like me very much after that. It's a green pot. Or blue? Can't really tell in this lighting. Lighter. Same place as usual. Is anyone else bothered that these things never light up from the first flick? I don't want to burn that. <laughs> there are some batteries and a bottle of kerosene over here.
looks like some blank pages. Hey, it seems to work now. Eh, nothing special about it at all. It's out of water. That's where people used to wash their hands. In the olden times. Or, well, current times if there's no plumbing. Great Soviet Encyclopedia Volume 5. As far as I know, every house had these. Flower. What were they expecting to find? Oh no! Grandpa's special red pepper! Oh, he'd be devastated if he saw it go to waste like this. If they wanted to cook the rice, they forgot to add water. Okay, something's there. I marked the spot. The metal detector beeped right there. Uh, the string won't hold it together. Kerosene. You light it up, it burns. It's just a nut. I should check out the spot I marked. I hope Grandpa hit a big treasure chest there. A bolt? Well, that's... Not exactly what I imagined. This nut is too small. It's an oil lamp. It's full of oil now. Still need something to light it with.
A warm light source. A message from my grandpa. I don't think so. I can't get to it through the messy garden. Ooh, and those planes are poisonous. Well, the bolt fits, but I need a nut that goes with it. I need to find a fitting bolt first. This nut is too small. <laughs> 